Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back uh, to uh, this series of electrical B7 power system uh, engineering BEO exams and this is the second part of uh, this question I solved in a previous video this part I'm, I'm gonna now solve the second part which is more of a theoretical question that compares between two designs the one that we use here in uh, the previous example and this modification of the design so let's see so we'll call this the old one design a the new one is design b so what is basically the difference in design a, it's a flat horizontal uh, configuration of the uh, of the lines and we know that the distance between here is basically uh, two meters and here it is basically three meters now in this design now the insulator b has been raised above the cross arm distance by one meter so and this and this are basically 2.5 meter 2.5 meter okay and here it says that the distance from either a or c to b is 2.5 meter and b was raised by one meter now we need to compare and contrast the two construction design B and design A and design B in terms of the line impedance, construction cost, power flow, line maintenance, and stray electric fields. And there is here basically a joke it says that no cats were harmed in the preparation of this exam. They are referring to this cat that is standing uh, here. Okay, joke aside, let's continue. So now the first thing I want to find is the line impedance. Now before that, we need to find this distance. Okay, so this distance, basically, this is a right triangle. So this is one meter, this is 2.5. So I can find from here to the middle and then multiply by two. So I will call this distance is X, is basically equal to two times square root of 2.5 square minus 1 square and this will give me 4.58 meters so the distance between if this is your a b and c the distance between a to c is 4.58 meters now let's talk about the line impedance as you know z is equal to r plus j omega l r doesn't change if I change the configuration of the line, R doesn't change. So what does it change is basically your L. Now for this design, design A, we did the calculations before. We know that the GMD, and you can refer into the previous question, is equal to 3.11 meter. And your L is equal to basically uh, 13.8 times 10 to minus 4 henry per kilometer and finally your z is equal to for 20 kilometer 21.78 plus j 1.10.4 ohms now let's do the same thing here for design b the gmd for design b is the third square root of 2.5 times 2.5 times 4.58 and this will give me a total distance equal to 3.06 meter slightly lower than the gmd of design design a so from this you can find that your l which is equal to 2 10 to minus 7 len the gmd divided by the gmr the gmr is exactly the same doesn't change so it's 2 times 10 to minus 7 ln of 3.06 divided by the GMR which is 0 0.00313 and this will give me a total inductance equal to 13.77 uh, times 10 to minus uh, 4 Henry per kilometer so it is slightly lower than this L so finally your z will equal to the same r 21.78 plus j 10 
0.38. So the inductive part here is a little bit lower than the uh, inductive part in design B. So there is a slight, I would say, improvement basically in the in the line uh, impedance. Let's move on construction cost. So now from the construction cost, there are different things that you have to pay attention to. It is the cost of basically the tower and the right of way because to the right and to the left of the insulate of the tower, there is forbidden areas that you cannot construct anything. So the wider the cross arm, the basically you will have more uh, right of way. You will have more land forbidden. Now, since this is basically five meter, this is very important, the cross arm. And this is basically, as we calculate that, equal to 4.58 meter. So from material perspective, this is a little bit less than that. So the cross arm cost here is less. But here you have one meter extra of the pole. So that is an extra cost. So you would say, I, I, I cannot tell exactly which one is better. Uh, depends on what is the cost of the cross arm and what is the cost of the pole. However, when we consider the right of way, this will have a less right of way. And remember, this line goes all the way 20 kilometers and could be more than that. So I would say that overall, design B would be uh, the cost is less here. The cost is less, or this is better from the cost point of view. Regarding the power flow, again, because this design, design uh, B has less, actually, has uh, less uh, reactance, little bit, so it will have less reactive power loss, less voltage drop. So this would be, I would say, this is a better design. Then let's talk about the line maintenance. And the line maintenance, basically, you need to take care of the wooden poles. You need to apply certain material to avoid the damage of the pole because of the environmental conditions. However, design B has a concern here. It doesn't here. It's not applicable to design A. The cross arm usually is made from fiberglass or steel. Okay, so sometimes because of the pollution, a dry burn arc can develop here. This material is basically very much resistive to any fire. However, here, and because of phase B here, you have wood. So if there is some dry burn arcing, there is arcing on the surface, and you can uh, refer to some of my videos that talk about dry burn arcing. I will keep some links for that, for these videos, for your general information to understand what I mean by dry burn arcing. Then that dynamic might basically jump and start the fire here in the wooden pool. And countries that have wooden pool, uh, fire and leading to wildfire is basically very common. Areas like uh, in the west of Canada, like British Columbia, California, where you have a lot of trees, sometimes it is there is a fire that is initiated from, from a pole. Finally, the stray. So this is worst, and this is this is in that regard is a bit better. When it comes to the stray electric field, VAN, which is the voltage between the phase to the ground, which is related to the electric field, is equal to 1 over 2 pi epsilon times QA, which is the charge of phase A related to the voltage, then GMD divided by the radius. Now, the GMD here uh, in design B is a little bit better than or lower than design A. So this will be having a better stray electric field. So to sum up everything, design B is better in most in everything except in the line maintenance where design A is, uh, is better because of the possibility of a wooden fire.